Hello and welcome back once again to Monster Mayhem. Another new track and another new truck. Now there's no mistaking this big old blue beauty. This is Blue Thunder and this is the 2016 version of it. It's very shiny with the chrome outline around the words. Feel the energy! Of course it has the nice new BKTs. Very nice blue uh, rim edges. It's kind of an interesting detail that there actually seems to be... I don't know if that's wear and tear on the paint. Or if that's just dust buildup. It appears to be on all four tires. Yeah? Yeah. Interesting. It's got all the good stuff. It doesn't quite have the springs on the nitrogen shocks that the Grave Digger did. Oh, and that's a nifty little thing here. You can actually see, I'll show it on the other side where it's more visible, the sway bars have these little... I don't know if those are zip ties or if those are some kind of metal cord, but that's an interesting detail that those things are actually tied to the chassis itself, not just uh, attached at this little thing here where it normally would be. But this truck is pretty well done. The engine's real nice. It's got all these little... Uh, I guess those are probably something along the lines of fuel lines. Metal fuel lines. Going to all the little fuel injectors and everything. And that's a Ford F-150 body style. It doesn't say Ford on the front, but it is. The interior is fairly well done. Gas and brake don't work, but that's okay. Uh, shifter down there. You got your rear steering uh, thing here. You got some gauges and switches. Whatever that thing is. It appears to be off-center, and so does the steering wheel for some reason. That's interesting. Yes, and as you can see here, we're in a different track, and as you can tell by the Canadian flags all over the place, this is a Canadian track. This is Edmonton, and I believe this is a custom track. Uh, STS Edmonton? I believe STS is a new acronym for a new racing series for the Sim Monsters site. I'm not sure what it stands for. Got some grandstands over there. This is another big open fairgrounds type of track. There's nothing around for miles, apparently. But anyways, yes, this is a, an interesting track, and I've just been playing around here a little bit. We're on the freestyle version of the track, but I'm actually going to go ahead and give you a demonstration of the racing track as the track doesn't actually change much between the two versions. You do have a racing version and a freestyle version. Uh, the freestyle version only really gets rid of a couple of turning cones or turning markers. There's these turns here you'll see down at the end and they're marked with the little... I'm not sure if they're concrete but they're the turning pins whatever you want to call them. Default engine noises, but that's not a big problem. As I said, we're stalled up here on the start line, and it appears to be an S-curve type of track. You start, you go across this first set of cars, across the second set, went way wide for the turn, but that's okay. You want to line up for this jump, and you got to get a lot of speed to clear it, to make sure that you clear it and land on the exit ramp. Another big hairpin turn. And then you come down the last straight, you hit the ramp, and right there's the finish line. 
and there's even a nice backflip ramp here at the end for you to celebrate. If you win. So that's nice and cool. And they have this guardrail here where you can come in and out. I'm guessing out here would be the outfield of the track where the other trucks would park. And one little interesting detail is you can actually see people sitting in chairs in the grandstands. That's kind of funny. Another thing that I like is you can come around back over here and there's this nice big old ramp from the back of the backflip ramp. You can use that to jump over. side lane. I think I completely missed the ramp there. DMC crap on that thing. We've killed our sway bars here. Don't care. also seems to have the uh, slow shift transmission, which kind of sucks. Going up 
over the wall. This lady doesn't want to go over. I just had an idea. Give me a minute here. Hitting it with enough speed, I guess. I think those lockers on the uh, sway bars might be kind of screwing up my break dancing, trying to get this thing right. It. I also like how these big red fans in the middle here are smunt crunched down there, good so you can ramp off of them. Double front flip! <laughs> that would have destroyed the truck, but I don't even care. That was amazing. And we'll celebrate by doing a nice big old backflip in a wheelie. And you just don't get much better than that, so... So there's been that. This has been the 2016 Blue Thunder and the STS Edmonton, Alberta, Canada freestyle track. The racing track isn't much different. Like I said, there's just really some uh, turning pins that get taken out. And there's a little bit of wear and tear on the track. The, the painting of the well, the paint on the dirt has been worn out. Tire marks and all kinds of shit. Feel the energy. Anyways. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Madness. Oh, yeah. There's the free candy I was talking about in the, uh, the Fall Madness video with the goblin. Free candy on the pedo the pedophile vans. Yeah. So that's what I was talking about there. Anyways, thank you for watching. Join us next time for more Monster Madness, Monster Mayhem. 
join us next time for more. Thank you and good night.